All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of Game of Thrones. This week we got to see Game of Thrones season four, episode four, which was called Oathkeeper. All right, good stuff. So as always, my reviews do contain spoilers. So if you guys haven't seen Oathkeeper yet, you may or may not may not want to watch this review. So as you guys will notice, uh, I did get a uh, green screen. I'm uh, just trying to, you know, um, I guess upgrade the channel a little bit, create better content, create better videos, and uh, I've got some lighting. So I'm still working it out. It's still uh, fairly new for me, kind of new territory, so it's not perfect by any means, and uh, the setup isn't all that expensive. It's not like a thousand dollar setup or anything like that with you know heavy duty lights or anything. So uh, I'm still kind of figuring out, still kind of playing with it, finding the optimal settings. But hopefully, it's at least watchable and there isn't too much blur or too much green around me or anything like that. So I'm still figuring it out. Let me know what you guys think about that and kind of the new look. Uh, personally, I like it. I think it's better because now I can change the background rather than always have in the same background the thing with me the problem is is that I make so many videos uh, like you know right now lately I've been doing like 14 15 videos a week um, that with making that amount um, the background gets old really fast you know I can change stuff around I can do stuff but you know before you know it a few months go by and I've made several hundred videos and uh, it just it gets old pretty fast so hopefully this will allow me to kind of keep it fresh and I'll be able to kind of uh, you know change it up here and there and uh, hopefully it looks pretty good so let me know what you guys think about that at this point anyway it'll get better in the future so uh, that said uh, give my thoughts on uh, this week's uh, episode uh, I thought it was a pretty solid episode um, I think that out of this season, it might be one of the slower ones we've had so far. Maybe the slowest so far we've had, um, but we did get some new good, some good new developments. We got to see the White Walkers again finally, which was really cool. Uh, we also got to see what Craster's babies what they were doing with them. Like you know, they would give them away. We kind of knew that the White Walkers were taking them, but we didn't know to what purpose. We didn't know what they were doing. And uh, this week, it's shown at the end of the episode essentially what's happening to them, and they are being turned, so to speak. I'll use. I use the phrase turn. Uh, I assume they would grow up to be White Walkers too, or just, you know, some kind of like possessed, I guess, uh, you know, uh, things. So, so that was kind of cool to see. I really like the visuals of it. Really beautiful. As you guys can see in the backgrounds, just uh, put a few of them in there. Man, really cool stuff. We got to see their kind of, I don't know if I want to call it like a kingdom, the, the White Walkers kingdom or, or what it was really, but their home, I guess, you know, and um, we got to see that one with the horns, which uh, I don't know if you just call him a White Walker, or if he's a, a white or a right or whatever, uh, or, or what word you want to use to describe him, but very cool looking the blue eyes the the horns and and especially when the baby's eyes turn i was just like wow that's that's pretty cool um in addition to that of course the name Oathkeeper, we get to see uh brianne set out on her mission so to speak from jamie to find sansa and keep her safe essentially and and i thought this was handled pretty well because uh you know if you're if, as you're watching you don't really know where Jamie's loyalties lie. We know in the past he's had trouble with, well, I, I wouldn't say he had trouble with, but he's known as the Kingslayer. He's known as the guy that, you know, you can't, you, if you kill a king, you can't trust him. You know, no oath really means anything that he uh, that he makes. Uh, and here we get to see that Cersei tries to twist him and is not able to. He's going to stand by uh, what he vowed to do, and he's going to attempt, at least try, to return Sansa uh, safely. He didn't say where. I assume he'd probably bring her to uh, the Eyrie anyway, which is where we know she's headed. Um, but I did like all the scenes. I liked uh, the sword, you know, uh, him giving her the sword, the kind of look as she's riding away when she, she kind of looks back at him. And you kind of see between them that there's some kind of, I don't know if you want to call it like a almost a, a love type thing going there that really could never be anyway because, of you know, well, you've got Cersei, you know, and, and Jamie's it just wouldn't work anyway but you've got some kind of really strong connection between the two of them after what they've been through together and uh, i really like that i thought that was really good so brianne sets out with pod as her squire and we'll see what happens with them that should be fun um to rewind a bit we also of course saw some stuff with uh, marjorie lady olena and then a scene with her and tommen which is kind of weird where she kind of sneaks into his room at night like bed intruder she's climbing in your windows she's snatching your people up so it was kind of a weird 
scene. I was wondering how that was going to feel seeing that actually, you know, in live action and everything versus just reading it because Tom is so young. So it was a little weird, but, uh, you know, Marjorie, she, she gets around. We already knew that. So, okay, so there's that. And then, of course, we got to see the sort of uh, finish of the whole Marine thing. It was kind of quick. Uh, they didn't show a whole lot. Most of it was in last week's episode. This week we really only got to see uh, Grey Worm. He's First he's practicing his language, and then he kind of sneaks in with uh, a bunch of weapons for the uh, the slaves and essentially we fast forward to a uh, slave master getting uh, attacked by all, all the different slaves which was a cool scene we saw it in the trailer and then after that we had um, Daenerys essentially shown as um, as having won it would have been cool to see a little bit more I think a little bit more of the battles a little bit more of exactly what happened there but you know Game of Thrones they only have so much of a budget for each episode so we're not able to see every single battle you know play out this happened a lot as well too in the uh the starks versus lannisters when rob was leading there was some good uh action like when jamie was captured and they didn't show it um which sometimes i i would personally would really like to see that kind of stuff but i guess we can't see absolutely every battle budget and in addition to that they only have so much time uh, plus there was other important things that happened as well too but i did like it i especially like the shot at the end where they zoom out and you've got the uh, the the dragon uh, flag on top of the marine thing that we've seen in the intro, so that was pretty cool. I liked uh, most of that. Um, kind of connected to what we saw last week, so so that was good. A good little finish to the whole marine thing. Uh, also, the masters getting uh, crucified. <laughs> that was pretty dark, but I mean, it, you know, it, it makes sense. So the whole uh, injustice with justice thing. We saw that in the trailer as well too. So that was cool. Um, then basically, in addition to that, all we really got to see, well, well we did get to see uh, Lord Baelish, which was cool with Sansa, uh, and I did enjoy that. always like seeing Baelish. He's uh, really cunning and fun. Some of the lines were good, too, about, you know, making new friends and always keep your enemies confused. I really like that. Baelish is always awesome. Got some great lines that he always uh, he always throws out there. Great strategy about the things he does and uh, why he does, does the things he does. So there was that. And then, of course, the rest of it was basically the biggest concentration was the wall and Craster's. What's happening with Craster's and the, uh, the guys from the... Uh, uh, the crows that essentially uh, mutinied and killed uh, Lord Commander Mormont, and you've got the sort of leader one now. I don't know his name, really creepy looking guy. Kind of reminds me of Ramsey in, in a few ways. He's kind of really, you know, he's really skinny. He's drinking from the skull, just pretty twisted, and uh, we, we get the sense he's essentially in charge. So we know that John's going to be heading out to essentially try to take them down, and then as a nice little uh, additive to add even more uh, excitement to the mix, we've got Bran, who's been captured by him. So uh, Bran, <laughs> I mean, Bran so far has not really, throughout the whole series, we spent a lot of time with Bran. We spent a lot of time with him, and aside from the whole uh, warg thing, which was cool, um, we haven't really seen him do anything great yet. All we've seen him do is kind of get himself in trouble. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with that. It was a good build-up, and uh, it also allowed us to kind of see uh, some more with the uh, the White Walkers and the whole babies. And it kind of answers the babies' question of what they were doing with the babies and what was happening with that. So um, in terms of the episode, that's pretty much all I have to say for it. Uh, it, was a, it was a decent episode, a little bit slower than the others so far this season. Not bad by any means. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, um, 6.5 being average. Um, so for Game of Thrones, that's not a fantastic score. I usually rate it higher. But this week for me personally, I just felt like the developments were kind of small. And I want to see what happens with Tyrion more than anything else. So that's where my attention is. That's what I kind of want to see most. And uh, this episode, even though there were some great visuals, it did feel like a little bit of a filler. Just a little bit. Um, even though there were some good new developments and uh things happening still to me personally felt like a little bit of, uh, of a filler just saying so let me know what you guys thought about this week's uh, episode um, oath keeper and uh, that's pretty much all i got to say i'll call it here that's it for this video guys i'll see you for the next one this is trap as always saying peace